What are we doing today? We are making fish tacos. <laughs> We're making fish tacos. <laughs> It's a friend of ours birthday today and we haven't had a fish taco meal all summer so it's time. So there are four different sections of fish tacos. You need your tortillas, you need your fish and I've actually always just used frozen tilapia and sawed it. Then you need the special sauce and then you need the special slaw. None of this was invented by me. I learned it from friends. Sorry not to credit. I already have some mayonnaise and I squirted a whole lime and then I put some honey in there. Usually I use adobo chilies, not to be confused with adobo. The mayonnaise and sour cream that goes in this is to balance out. Bullet blender for everything. Also, make sure you use hearing protection because if you use a blender a lot like me, your hearing will slowly leave you and you won't even know. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back. Now I'm going to taste it, see if the spice level is stronger, or is it ever? Ooh. Fish is next. So next is my least favorite part about this whole process. And that's taking the fish out of their packaging. I finally came up with a system. I just cut them all, throw the plastic and one side of the sink. The thing is, it's just like it's fishy and it's slimy. This is ready. <laughs> Our granddad used to recite this fish poem when we were little. Swim, said the mother, swim, swim, said the three. And they swim, and they swim, blah, 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 blah. blah. Now, as far as like choosing how many fish tilapia or fish fillets to use, I usually average like two per person. Pretending they're doing their last trick. And the Olympic do a little dive. This pairing is awkward because one is much larger than the other, but they've somehow mastered the routine. I'm gonna clean everything. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break and turn on the cast iron skillet. I'll do like six probably. Fish can cook on a higher heat and I'm using avocado oil, which is made for higher heat. So I've used several different seasonings for fish tacos and I tried this Creole seasoning last time and I really liked it. You can also just use um, like salt and pepper or blackened seasoning. And this is kind of acting as a breading for it too. So I like my fish to have a little bit of crunch on the outside. So be generous. It does make you sneeze. So just... Ready or not? 
hot. in the oven or fried on a fire. It makes them taste better and crispier. So the last part of this process, here is the red cabbage sliced in long slices so it doesn't fall out of the taco. There's nothing worse than trying to eat a taco and everything falls out. I'm just gonna add all of this. And a bag of pre-mixed slaw. And then, coleslaw dressing. I want it to be an even mixture. Thank you so much for tuning in to Fish Taco Night. I hope you guys enjoy making some of your own and eating them. Um, I would recommend sharing it and something to do. Happy cooking. Is there a special way you do this? Does the light need to be off? If I die during this, cook it at a medium temperature until it's brown on both sides.